What's up people? This is True Engineer here, back again to do our What Is Engineering series. We have another new special guest, and uh, I want y'all to get to know her. So, uh, guest, uh, do you have a name? Yes, I have a name. My name is Celeste Chavis. Oh, Celeste, nice to meet you. Um, where are you from? I am from Cincinnati, Ohio. Ohio? Yeah, represent. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is Celeste from Ohio? What's your educational background? Well, as you know, I am a Buckeye. I went to the Ohio State University where I got my bachelor's degree in civil engineering. And then I came to the University of California where I got my master's and I'm currently working on my PhD. All right, PhD. Um, and you were Buckeye as well. Kind of puts joy in my heart. But um, <laughs> I understand that you're a civil engineer, right? Yes. So why exactly did you decide to be a civil engineer and, and stay in school so long? Okay, those are two separate questions, but <laughs> to be a civil engineer, I really liked math and science. Uh, always was interested in building things, like I asked for connects for about four straight Christmases. Mm -hmm. um, I did science Olympics and different things that just always piqued my interest in terms of engineering. Uh, when I came in school, I didn't actually know that there were so many different types of engineering, but I started off as mechanical because that's when I heard the most about. I did some internships, hated it, and then switched to civil engineering because I was always interested in traffic and realized that since it causes so much stress in my life, why not fix it? Mm. And that's why I became a civil engineer. Okay. So you became a civil engineer because you wanted to, you're a problem solver, you wanted to, to make the world a better place. I'm wondering, I'm seeing something in front of your hands there. Uh, is that at all related to what you do specifically in civil engineering? Yes. So I do transportation planning. I'm really interested in public transportation. Um, I actually just came back from Nairobi where I was doing work with mini buses, which are very small buses and they pack like 25 or 30 people in the bus, even though they probably should only fit about 16 people. So that's the work that I'm interested in doing because it affects a lot of people everywhere. All right, so civil engineering and all engineering are important work, right? Very good, very good. So um, I understand at some point in time you were a high school or middle school student and um, if you know if you could give some advice to them, what would you say to an up and coming high school or middle school student to make sure they can indeed pursue a career in civil engineering? I would say math, 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 science, science, science. Uh, just keep at it even though it's hard. Ask for help when you can. Um, if you can, shadow different people in engineering. They're always welcome to have you come and see what they do. Most people love to share what they do every day because they love it, so they want to make other people love it. Mm -hmm. And if you can, join something like Science Olympics where you can actually put to use all the boring math and science that you're learning and see why it's fun in the end. Okay, so because the, the truth is math is fun, right? It is fun. It is fun. Especially it's when high. you know why you're using it. That's right, that's right. So are there any other, outside of Science Olympics, are there any other uh, professional organizations or anything out there that you know of that a high school or middle school student could get involved with? Yeah, there's the National Society of Black Engineers, NSBE. They have what's called NSBE Junior for high school students. Um, and you go and you can get to go to the national conferences, you get to be mentored by college chapters, and you get to do different competitions where you can win prizes. There's also similar versions with SHIP, the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, and SWE, the Society of Women Engineers. Okay, so I'm, I'm a young high school student. I'm out there now. I'm, I'm, I'm part of NSBE or SHIP or SWE, depending upon where I fit in. Um, and I'm thinking about civil engineering, but I don't know what the future of civil engineering is. Since you, you've been in school for a little bit and you really like civil engineering, can you give us a picture in the future? What does a civil engineer look like in the future, years from now? Well, civil engineering is very important. As you can see by the stimulus, most of the money came to our field. So all the work, road work construction you see, um, bridges, one of the problems with our nation's infrastructure was it was all built at the same time. So now it's all failing right now. So mm -hmm. it's a field that gets a lot of money. It's very important. Also with earthquakes, national, natural disasters, we're seeing it's very important to have strong buildings and also cheap buildings for the developing world. So that's a growing field of work. Um, in transportation, sustainability is a big issue. Uh, dealing with emissions and trying to have more green vehicles or public transportation is a huge and growing field. So. 
There's always work. So there's lots of work. There's plenty of potential in civil engineering. Um, just one question, just because you know we didn't talk about this yet. Um, is there any money in civil engineering at all? There is. Now, not as much as some of the other engineers, but it's always steady employment. But always. yeah, you make, you make good money. You make good money. It's important. It's very valuable. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. So, um, Will Celeste, it's been a pleasure having you on uh, <laughs> Uh, with us today we wanted to see you know with YouTube you only have so much time to talk if you had any final thoughts you want to leave our viewers with uh, just if you're interested keep at it keep at the math try to visit someone uh, I think it's fun hopefully you do too so hopefully you'll be an engineer one day okay thank you Celeste this again our uh, what is engineering series our second video I want to thank Celeste for her time and uh, until next time peace <laughs>